Can a mine in Suffolk County increase the depth and space it's mining? To find out, you have to read Southampton versus New York DEC. It's only 15 pages. Don't have time for that? I got you covered. This is TLDR, Too Long Didn't Read, Court of Appeals Cases, hopefully in five minutes or less. This is the case of Town of Southampton versus New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, which can be found at 2023, New York Slip Opinion 00689, published by the Court of Appeals on February 9th of 2023. The issue in this case is how to interpret Environmental Conservation Law 23-2703. Does that only apply to uh, new permits, or does it apply to modifications and renewals as well? To understand this case, you have to understand it's a very complicated area of law. This is going to be a challenge to get it in five minutes or less. I'm not sure if I can. Basically, you have to understand that there's three competing interests in these mining cases. There's the landowner's interest. There's the locality's interest in controlling zoning and general rules, and there's the Department of Environmental Conservation, which wants to impose a uniform structure around the state about how to deal with mining cases. And you have to understand that 23-2703 has a subdivision, sub-3, that only applies in one specific circumstance. The statute says... That no agency of the state, which is Department of Environmental Conservation, can consider an application for a permit to mine within counties with a population of 1 million or more, which draw their primary source of drinking water for a majority of the county residents from a sole source of aqua, sole source aquifer. That statute, that subsection, sub three, only applied when it was drafted to two counties, Nassau and Suffolk County. That was basically drafted to say, If you're going to make an application to the Department of Conservation for a mine, you can't do it if local zoning laws or ordinances prohibit mining use within the area proposed to be mined. That's what that subsection says. Let's talk about the facts of the case. There's a mine in Southampton, which is Suffolk County. Okay, so 23-2703, sub-3 applies. There's a mine in a 50-acre parcel of land. The zoning allowed for it. Ultimately, after many decades, the zoning was re, the locality rezoned the area to residential. Okay. So think now. You can't, once it, once they rezone it to residential, you can't now apply to operate a new mine. But you have to understand that something called prior non-conforming use. If a person has a prior non-conforming use, they have land that they're using as a mine, and then all of a sudden it's rezoned and they can't use it. If they can establish that they've been using it at a prior non-conforming use, they can continue to do it. It would be unconstitutional to stop them because they've invested all this money and effort, and it would deprive them of the value of their land to, to take away that right. So they get these prior non-conforming use certificates from the town of Southampton, and they operate this mine. Now, in 2014, they, they make an application to modify. They want to increase the amount of land that they own for mining and also increase the depth that they're going to mine. At this point, they're allowed to uh, mine to 160 feet above sea level, and they want to increase it to 120 feet, so 40 more feet down. Ultimately, there's litigation. The Department of Environmental Conservation and the owner of the mine reach an agreement to allow them to do certain mining to increase the depth, but they don't include Southampton in this. And Southampton, remember, their, their, their zoning says no mining. So they've increased the amount that they're allowed to mine, but they haven't made any adjudication about whether there's a prior non-conforming use on the new areas being used for mining. It goes to, it gets, the trial court denies the application saying it's a renewal, not a modification. And under the way DEC interprets their rules, only new permits uh, have to go through uh, the application process. The appellate division reverses, it goes to the court of appeals. They say, they remit it, they, they remand it back to the court. They say, you didn't, sufficiently make a finding as to whether this is a prior non-conforming use. They address the arguments that are being made. The argument made by DEC that the statute only applies to new permits, they say no. The statute, we're guided by the language of the statute, and the statute applies to all permits. It doesn't say new versus modification or renewal. It applies to all. They also address the argument that it would be unconstitutional to apply this law to the mine that had previously been operating, and they say, no, we have a, we have a procedure about that. That's the prior non-conforming use situation. 
And there has to be a question uh, answered about whether this is a proper prior nonconforming use. And the way to determine that is you have to see if the property owner has expressed and demonstrated an intent to use this particular land that they haven't yet mined on as mining. Uh, and that's to determine whether that was previously set aside for mining. And finally, they, they address the argument that the mine owner makes that they have a constitutional right to, to, to mine to an unlimited depth, an indefinite, an indefinite depth. They can, they can mine down to the center of the earth if they want. And the Court of Appeals says, no, you cannot. That the issue of nonconforming use applies horizontally as well as vertically. So the burden would be on the property owner to establish that they had expressed an intent to mine in these areas as well as in the depth that they're now seeking to mine. So they remand it back to the trial court, back to back to the trial court and DEC to determine whether or not there has been a prior nonconforming use of the land they're seeking to expand to. And if there's a disagreement, they say go to court and, and have that litigated and formally determined by a court. If you like what you just saw and want to see more just like it, please hit like or subscribe to let me know. <laughs>